Well, hello there. My name is Mark Miles, and I love helping trainers, presenters, workshop facilitators really take their results to the next level. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about how can you integrate music into your workshops to make them even more impactful and even more successful and possibly even efficient and effective. So in today's video, let's dive into the topic of music and some things to think about when you are going to implement it into your delivery, so to speak. Now, first of all, let's have a chat about why you would actually do that. Fundamentally, a workshop with music and a workshop without music are radically different for a participant and also for you as a trainer as well. So the number of reasons why you would certainly want to bring music into it. So first of all, number one is music really helps you control the group and the event. It helps you actually set a mood for the event and actually helps you control what the group actually does at any particular time. So for example, you can actually have a song to indicate that now we're going to a break, or now we are going to start the day, or now we're gonna come back from a break. Now we're gonna do an activity. So all of these things can be indicated by a particular song and music is a great way to get people behaving in a particular way at a particular time. Essentially, we are setting an anchor for an action. The music becomes an anchor for the action, okay? So, in regards to the, um, is essentially using music to also build emotion, this is another really powerful thing that we can do as well. Because music has a pace to it, a beat to it, and potentially music lyrics to it as well, which reinforces great messages for our participants okay so now let's dive into the kinds of like all the actual songs that you would want to have in your playlist if you are a facilitator so generally what i recommend to people is if you're going to have a playlist i highly recommend that and you could have the same playlist across all your workshops so you could have different playlists depending on the workshop that you are running but here are the categories of songs that I highly recommend that you have in your playlist. So number one, you want to have a start of day song, start of day song. So a song that's going to be uplifting, empowering, and it's going to make participants feel good as they enter your room or as they are sitting there waiting for the event to happen. So start of day song. Now, next, you probably want to have a go to break song a go-to break song. So when you play that song, people know that they are about to go on a break or going to a break. Next one, come back from break song. Come back from break. So when you play that song, everybody knows it's time to come back, all right? Next, you want to have an end of day song, an end of day song. Now this song, again, is going to be uplifting, empowering, and it's going to make them feel good for everything they have achieved in the workshop. Now, next, we also want to set the pace of things that we actually do. So for example, you may wanna have a song that's quite fast in pace when you want people to hurry up and get things done quicker, okay? So you may play that in the background quite soft, but it's gonna be a fast paced song. Now, counter to that, you may also wanna have a slow paced song where you um, play that one where it's reflection time and thinking time and considering time or maybe goal setting time, okay? Now, you may also wanna have a post-activity song, which is super exciting, super affirmative, and you know, a song like, we are the champions of the world or whatever resonates with you, but it's gonna be a song that really reaffirms their success and their triumphs post activity, okay? Now, some things to think about as you are choosing your songs, all right? So number one, think about the lyrics, okay? And I highly recommend that you actually read the lyrics before you choose that particular song, all right? So you definitely wanna read the lyrics because the lyrics can actually be opposite to maybe the emotion or the vibe that you're trying to create, okay? Next thing, as I said, do think about the pace of the song. Does it make you feel confident? Does it make you feel more anxious? 
in the bar to slow what's going on or the pace of the song? And does it match what you are looking to achieve in playing that song? Next, <laughs> does it match the context and the message of what you're actually trying to teach? So for example, you wouldn't want to have um, a topic around leadership and then playing a song which is very heavy metal and goes against, you know, the concepts or principles of leadership, so to speak. See, and for example, let's go another one. Maybe you're teaching safety. You probably want to wouldn't want to play the you know theme song from the Titanic, so to speak. Now, another thing that we do need to be aware of is that of copyright. Okay, so this is a global YouTube channel, so highly recommend that whatever is appropriate for your region, go out there and do some research around licenses um, that are required to play the actual music and royalties. And certainly there's a lot of royalty free music that you can get and uh, highly recommend that you check that out as well. However, that is something that you need to consider. Is it okay to play particular songs or not? And you can certainly make your own music and record it and do it that way as well. But I just want to get you to think about how can you integrate music into your workshop delivery and workshop facilitation so that you have even more control around people's movements and also their feelings as they are traveling through your workshop. Because ultimately that is up to you. And that is something that you can really use to your advantage as a presenter, facilitator, coach, mentor, whatever you would like to call yourself, if you are instructing and training other people. So hopefully on that note, you got some value from this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this knowledge around because I really want to help you deliver the best workshop possible. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.